All right, hello everybody. Travis Chandler here with the first episode of Mass Effect. Um, sorry if my um voice sounds a little loud. Um, I've got my new headset finally, and let me tell you, it's nice. It it is. It's nice. It's comfortable. I I love it. I love it. I've or last night, you know, Christmas night, and I wore it for four hours straight, and it didn't even bother me at all. So normally with headsets, they bother me, and I itch really bad and all that. So, but this headset, it's really nice. So it has noise cancellation. So if I talk loud, I'm apologize. So yeah, let's let's get down to it, and let's um let's. Commentate on this video. Let me turn this down a little bit. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Classified information. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Please log in. Now, to make a custom character, to uh, pick the class you want, you have to make a custom character. If you pick just the John Shepard or Jane Shepard, it'll automatically give you soldier. So, um... To pick the class you want, you have to have a... Um, custom character. To access your profile. As you can see, I'm taking the Vanguard. Warning, data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. Confirm pre-service history. Now, how these work is... Um, your pre-service history has a bonus towards Paragon and Renegade. Spacer has the um, bonus to Paragon. Earthborn has the bonus to Renegade. And Colonist is for um, sort of hybrids. Kind of, sort of. But you can make hybrids out of all three. I've done it, so... But, um, Spacer, both your parents were in the Alliance military, your childhood was spent on ships and stations as they transferred fr from posting to posting, never staying in one location for more than a few years. Following in your parents' footsteps, you enlisted at the age of 18. You were born and raised on Mindor, a small border colony in the Attican Traverse. When you were 16, slavers raided Mindor, slaughtering your family and friends. You were saved by a passing Alliance patrol and then enlisted. You were an orphan raised on the streets in the great... Confirm psychological... Yeah. Profile. Fuck it. I'm not going to read this stuff. I can't read it fast enough, so... If you want to read it, you can pause and read it. I do stay on it for a bit so you can do that, so. Or no, 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 I take that back. It's not the free service history that has the bonus, it's the psychological profile that has the Paragon and Renegade um, bonuses. That's what it is. I, my, my apologies. Military specialization. Now, Confirm facial identification. The bonus talents. You get bonus talents by uh, beating the game. I've beaten it um, a couple times. So on this version, I've beaten it many times on the 360 and PS3. So um, yeah, that's how the bonus talents work. 
Profile reconstruction complete. You'll see why I took electronics. Confirm. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of his family. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets. Learned to look out for himself. Damn right. He got most of his unit killed on Torfin. He gets the job done. No matter what the cost. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. The graphics to this look amazing. The Arcturus Prime relays in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Major. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. Station secure for transit. Board is green. Approach run has begun. I love how Shepard has the rock eyebrow. <laughs> Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500 K. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. Willie? I hope. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. Damn right, you're paranoid. The council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Exactly. Your soldiers, act like it. Sorry, Commander. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Ethan Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I'm on my way. <laughs> Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Yeah. All right. I bet y'all can guess who Joker's voice is. But here's what I'm going to do um, with the talents. Um, what you want to do, you always want to do your class. You always do your class, and you always do either charm or intimidate. Charm is for Paragon. Intimidate is for... Um, Renegade. You get bonuses for Charm and um, Intimidate. Later on, for Charm, you get store discounts. Um, for Intimidate, you get um, more money for selling things. Selling your junk equipment. So, um, there's that. Um, you get points per level, just like any other RPG. 
um, current RPG, I should say. Um, kind of like World of Warcraft. Um, electronics, the reason I took it is because I'm going to need it here soon. So, um, there's that. Throw, warp, lift, barrier. Um, those are your, um, those are your biotic skills, and you're going to need them later. But um, for now, like I said, just concentrate on your class. Concentrate on Charm and Intimidate. And maybe put a point in pistols. So I can't remember exactly how I do this, so I'll we'll see how I did this. So, But Vanguard um, increases biotic resistance and increases damage with shotguns and pistols. That's all that um, Vanguard use is pistols and shotguns. And the more points you put in pistols or shotguns, the more damage you do and the more accurate you are. So, assault training, um, it's physical damage, or uh, melee damage, that's what I mean, melee damage. Tactical armor raises your defense of your armor. So, that's a good skill to invest in as well. Um, electronics, uh, you need that to open, like, treasures and stuff like that. Like, um, you find, like, debris and stuff like that, you need electronics to open it. So, that's why I took it as my bonus skill. And, um, yeah, barrier, uh... The name implies what it is. You create a barrier around yourself, increasing your defense. Warp um, sort of takes down your enemy's HP, ignoring its their armor. Lift, you lift your enemies up in the air. Throw, you throw your enemies to the ground. So we're going to have some fun with this character. Oh yeah, and electronics gives you the overload, um, the overload skill. What overload does, it, um, overloads the synthetics, the synthetic enemy, um, and the synthetic enemies, and it'll disable shields of organics. Okay, now I'm setting up the quick slots. Just like World of Warcraft, you can use the, um, hotbar for your skills. I end up not using it later on in the game, but, um... Because it ends up being harder, hard to aim with, so... Getting dragged right along with him. Relax, Presley. You're gonna give yourself an ulcer. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? I'm on my way to give him a status update right now. With all due respect, sir, maybe he'll finally tell you what we're really doing out here. Info's on a need to know basis, Presley. Just follow the orders you're given. Understood, Commander. I grew up on Eden Prime, Doc. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. Oh, you watch too many spy vids, Jenkins. Does he? Because it's actually true. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Damn right it's part of the fight. You just fix us up when we're done. Damn right, that's how it works. Work, Commander. I've seen my share of combat, but it's foolish to go looking for trouble. You could both take a lesson from the Captain. He's not afraid of combat, but he knows the value of restraint, too. Sorry, Doc, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Do your job, follow my orders, and there won't be any problems. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on Torfin. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. This mission isn't about personal glory, Corporal. We have a job to do. Don't do anything stupid to mess it up. 
Don't worry, sir. I'm not gonna screw this up. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Damn right he's waiting for you. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I'm a marine, not some tourist on vacation. Damn right! It's just a tourist destination, isn't it, Shepard? Eden Prime is a symbol of your people. A perfect little world on the edges of your territory. Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? You threatening us? Are you trying to scare me, Spectre? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Yeah, that is obvious. We already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. What's the payload, Captain? A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Prothean? What else can you tell me? This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. We can handle this on our own. Absolutely. Nothing goes wrong. There's more, Shepard. Nihilus isn't just here for the beacon. He's also here to evaluate you. Because he's gay for me. What's going on, Captain? <laughs> the Alliance has been... He's gay for Shepard. <laughs> Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. So instead of sucking our dicks, we're gonna... If we're gonna jump in front of the line! It shows how far the Alliance... By destroying shit! I was impressed when I studied the reports from Torfin. A grim business. But you got the job done. Damn right, I got the job <laughs> done. Candidate for the Spectres. Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Just give the word, Captain. He wants to see me in combat. <laughs> What's wrong? So he can jack off. From Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! that no calm traffic at all it just goes dead there's nothing reverse and hold the 38.5 status report 17 minutes out captain no other alliance ships in the area take us in joker fast and quiet this mission just got a lot more complicated yeah it sure did we can move quickly without drawing attention it's our best chance to secure the beacon Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Damn right I'm going in. I'm gonna kick some ass, too. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Not the brains, but the muscle. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Yeah, fuck the survivors. We don't give a shit about survivors. You coming with us? 
I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. I don't like putting my life in the hands of a Turian, sir. Nihilus is on our side. He wants you in the Spectres, and he wants that beat. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! Well, yeah, of course it'd be mine. Of course it'd be his. You're not going down. Okay, so Alenko again, same thing. You do his class, but I know what you're saying. Oh, what about Jenkins? You'll see why I didn't do Jenkins in a minute. Gas bags. Don't worry, they're harmless. Now, for the longest time, I didn't even know that was there. Just one day I went down there a few years ago and I, I found it. It was like, oh crap, I didn't even know that was there. So, free item there. Burned body. Oh shit. Leroy. Leroy Jenkins. Fuck him, he's dead weight. Exactly. Fuck him, he's dead weight. There we go. Intimidate and a point in class. I gave uh, Caden his barrier because he'll need that later. playing duck hunt so where's the dog that comes up <laughs> I used overload and there was warp. Hey, Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? I need a status report now. Oh man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. You're coming with us, Williams. We need that beacon. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. Move out. 
All right. So the uh, talent points you get from um, Jenkins goes to Ashley. That's why I didn't equip anything for Jenkins, because what was the point? You know? Get your items over here. Thank you for the obvious, Ashley. And there you always get a an armor upgrade. Always. Okay. Well, here we go to kick some more ass. There's overload. There's warp. There's throw. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. No! Our side or the gas? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. Let's get moving. Williams, where's the camp? It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Well, bang, okay? <laughs> Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Well, bang, okay? <laughs> Those that watch the YouTube poop, that, that was so funny. Okay, Ashley got an upgrade. And so did Caden. And you'll see Shepard gets one here in a minute. Looks like they hit the camp hard. No! for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Really? Oh god, they're still alive. What did the Geth do to them? They fucked them up. We got one with a grenade. And this guy's going to be stupid and just run around in a circle. The husks, for some reason, I don't know why this is, but for some reason, if you're not close enough to them, they'll run around in a circle. Get your class point. Get your class raised. We'll do intimidate. Or no, we're not going to do intimidate. We're going to do pistols, it looks like. First aid. What that does, um, when somebody uses um, Metagel, the healing stuff for uh, a character, all three characters get it. But I never knew this was here either for the longest time. Um, I actually discovered that in this run. So... Okay. So Ashley got herself another upgrade, which is fine. That door, it's closed. Security locks engaged. Used to how that worked. Thank the maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. How did you end up in this shed? We hid here during the attack. They must have come here for the beacon. Luckily, it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? 
No, I am not mad. I want whatever drugs you're smoking, man. <laughs> I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Say good night, Manuel. You cannot silence the truth. My voice must be heard. Oh! Oh my God! What did you do? That might have been a little extreme, Commander. No, it's fine. Around whacking people in the head. It was only a matter of time until he did something crazy and dangerous and stupid. I suppose you're right. By the time he wakes up, the meds will have kicked in. Williams, take us to the spaceport. Good luck, Commander. Fighting around the world. Now, how the decryption in electronics used to work, it was a Simon Says in the, um, in the original. But in this, they made it where it's like a little maze game kind of sort of thing. Saren. Nihilus. Uh, I am evil. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Oh! What is that? Off in the distance. It's a ship. Look at the size of it. Okay, here we go to kick some more ass. If you use overload on the canisters, they blow up bigger. They have a bigger explosion. Now you don't have to worry about ammo, you just have to worry about the temperature of your gun. So you'll never run out of ammo. I got I got him from behind with the grenade. That's how that works. <laughs> okay, over here is a little hidden tidbit. I didn't know it was here. Just avoid the red things when doing this. The red and orange things. Calm out there. We're coming out. We're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? Nobody moves a muscle until we know who you are. Nice going, Cole. I told you we should have stayed hidden. It's okay. We're all on the same side here. We're just farmers. We've been hiding ever since that ship first showed up. Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. If there's something you're not telling me... Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. You greedy bastard. You weren't running for your life. You were running to check on your merchandise. That, yeah, that's exactly what it was. <laughs> packages here. Something we could use. I found a pistol. Maybe some drugs. It would come in handy if those things... <laughs> but you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. I'm only going to ask this once. Think long and hard before you lie to me again. Are you sure all you've got is one lousy pistol? Uh... No, no wait. I just remembered. I, I just had it in my pocket. You might as well take that, too. That's everything, really. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. Would you rather be a snitch or a corpse? Powell. His name's Powell. No honor among thieves. Exactly. Oh, no, really? <laughs> So let's try to keep things friendly from here on in, okay? I have to go. Okay, so how that works with the red options in the dialogue. Those are um, Paragon and Renegade bonuses. The blue would be Paragon, the red would be um, Renegade. Now, you saw that the top one was grayed out. It's because I don't have enough uh, charm to use it. 
to unlock them, you gotta have enough charm or enough um, intimidation. Since I put points in intimidation, I was able to unlock it. So, and do the bonus. All right, the Stinger pistol. It is a good pistol. That's why I didn't give Shepard any um, other pistol because Stinger is way better than the other pistols. And you'll want to equip the um, combat sensor because uh, most enemies like to jam your um, radar. The combat sensor uh, prevents it. And this is why I wanted electronics is right here. If you don't have electronics, um, you cannot open this. And a lot of characters, they don't start with it. But since I have it unlocked as a bonus talent, for characters that don't use it naturally, I'm always going to have electronics for this. There's nothing over by the fire down there. It's not us. No. I thought it was some other Turian. <laughs> Get yourself a free item, a couple of items there. A Turian? You know him? He's a Spectre. He was with us in the morning. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't! Don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! I like the way you hid behind those crates during the fight. Really helped us out. Thanks a lot. Yeah, that really did help us out. <laughs> but I'm just a dock worker. I don't even have a weapon. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. The other one? What the hell are you talking about? There were two Turians here. Your friend and another one he called Saren. I think they knew each other. Your friends seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. <laughs> I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I... I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks with a super... Yeah, I'm right. Hey, I'd do it too. Because you're lazy? You ditch work. Then you cower back here and do nothing while the Geth butcher everyone else. I don't even have a gun. What was I supposed to do? Run out there and die? That's true. I couldn't save them. Nobody could. It, it was horrible. Your call's contact here on the docks. For the smuggling ring. What? No! I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler, who cares? My supervisor's dead, the entire crew's dead. It doesn't matter now, does it? Anything hidden nearby that we could use against- Yeah, that's why it matters. <laughs> a bit of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing for the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch. We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? Yeah. I thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Hand over those grenades. Now. Damn it. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. Too many people died here for you to start jerking me around. Okay, all right. Th there was something else. Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. Take it. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. 
Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Okay, so if you talk to... If you talk to Cole up there in that lock shed and you have him mention Powell, that's how you unlock that. If you don't talk to Cole and don't unlock that, you don't get the high explosive upgrade for your grenades. Now, I don't know why, but for some damn reason, they like to switch your gun after that scene. And I never understood why. This game is so full of glitches like that. There, we got rid of two of them. Get rid of you. The destroyer. Die, motherfuckers, die! Yeah, I got him from behind again. That's how you do it with the grenades. Always kill your... Okay, motivated buyer. You get extra credits when you um, sell stuff. Credits is the currency in this game. So that's why you do your charm and intimidate so you can get the motivated buyer in the um, store discounts. Always do your class when available. And then I do pistols just to unlock marksmen. To unlock um, these grayed out ones, you have to do the um, talents above them. Like, for example, for shotguns, you have to go pistols all the way to this circle, and then it'll unlock shotguns. Assault training, you go all the way to this circle, and it, un and it um, unlocks tactical armor. So on and so forth. I never use marksmen, but I'm just getting the points up just to unlock shotguns. Always do your decryption in um, electronics with a character because you're going to need them later on in the game. And we're going to ride on a train. Choo-choo! Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. You have more than enough time to do this, so don't worry about it. You've got way more than enough time to do this. You'll actually see how I cheese some of this. Like, watch this. I can just hide behind here and not worry about getting shot. My guys will take care of these two.
Then over here, same thing. You come over here and you hide behind the cover and take these take this one out. I threw it too high. There I got it. But I didn't kill him. That's okay. See, that's why I don't like using the hotbar for the talents because it's really hard to aim. So we'll get a free item here. Ooh, and a heat sink. I forgot I got that here. All right, we're gonna put on nothing. Except the shimitar, because that's an upgrade. We'll need that. We don't need recoil damper. That is for sh um, sniper rifles. Okay. Okay, for some reason, I was having trouble with this game. I had beaten this game two times prior with the default settings and never once gave me a problem. But for some reason, and I, I don't know why this is, it kept, this part right here kept crashing my um, graphics card. And I don't know why. So I had to turn, I found out it was the V-Sync for some reason. So I had to turn off the V-Sync. I had to cap the FPS to 60. And then I had to play around with some of the other settings too to get it to not crash. And I don't understand why. And again, this game glitches so damn much too. And I, I don't really understand why this game has so many glitches. Okay, just setting myself up here. Heat sinks are perfect for um, assault rifles. It cuts down the heat generated every time you shoot. They're also pretty good for pistols too, but I really recommend them for assault rifles more than anything. So we're just running back and forth to get items. That's all we're doing here. Um, No! No, it couldn't have landed there. What was your first clue there, idiot? Improved sighting is another one for assault rifles, or not assault rifles, but, um, sniper rifles. So here we go, back to the beacon so we can get out of here. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Immediate Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. 
Stand something up. or someone. He got knocked the fuck out. <clears throat> we identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime. The Normandy. A human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Doctor, Doctor Chakwas, I think he's waking up. Is he? There's no thick about it either. He is or isn't? You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? How did I end up here? How long was I out? About fifteen hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. I expect better of my people, Williams. You endangered our entire mission. You totally did. So hard on her, Commander. We have no idea if that's what actually set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. What's the damage, Doctor? Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our XO holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the Commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The Beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. The Council can kiss my ass! I won't let them blame me for losing the beacon. I didn't do anything wrong. Exactly! We didn't do anything wrong! I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren. That other Turian. Saren's a specter. One of the best. A living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous. And he hates humans. He didn't come to Eden Prime because he hates humans. You're right. Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. 
but it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Maybe. Just before I lost consciousness, <laughs> I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. They'll think I'm crazy. Yeah, they will. What information was stored in that beacon? Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. Damn right it was an act of war. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. When have they ever done anything for humanity? If we expose Saren as a traitor, the Council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the Ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. All right, so that's going to be about the end of this video. So hope you all had fun watching this. I mean, this is uh, something new for me, commentating on these videos. So, um, you know, I thought it'd be kind of cool. I watch um, Carcinogen SDA with his runs of, like, the old classic games. And he does a voiceover. And, um... I thought it'd be cooler to have the face cam and um, all that. So I just thought it'd be cooler to have the face cam. So um, anyway, hope you all had fun with this. This is end of episode one. There's going to be more episodes to come. And I will see you all next episode.